These recent NFTs have been selling for 3.5 Ethereum, 0.2 Ethereum, 1.48 Ethereum, 0.2 Ethereum, 38 Ethereum, 2.7 Ethereum, and 2.24 Ethereum over here. For those of you that follow cryptocurrencies and Ethereum would know that that is worth a lot of money. Over here, you can see one Ethereum is over $2,900. And I mean, for one NFT to be selling for 38 Ethereum, that is equivalent to over $110,000. And people do actually buy these NFTs. This one has been selling quite well. That is why it's on the top page and worth so much. So there are people out there willing to spend that kind of money on an NFT like this. Now, in today's video, I want to show you how you can go and make money, plus minus between $100 to $1,000 a day with these NFTs and creating your own NFTs. Now, for those of you that don't know, an NFT is basically a non-refundable token. It is a unit of data stored on a digital ledger called a blockchain that certifies a digital asset to be unique and therefore not interchangeable. NFTs can be used to present items such as photos, videos, audio, and other types of digital files. So all these NFTs that you see over here are basically digital cryptocurrencies that have various different values. And there are a number of factors that determine these kind of values from supply, demand, if people like these kind of pictures, like you'll see over here, this simple unicorn is now worth 38 Ethereum just because people like it, it's selling, there's a high demand, which drastically increases its value. Now with these particular NFTs, you can do a process what you call minting, which in easy terms is creating your own NFT and getting a simple value on that, or piggybacking other NFTs that are just about to launch to replicate their virality and using multiple factors and flags to determine which kind of NFTs to piggyback to make money yourself. In this video, I'm gonna show you all the tools, tips, and the process, and the strategy that you need to do this. This may not make sense right now, but at the end of this video, this will actually make easy sense to you, and you'll be on your way and know how to make money with these NFTs. Step number one is we need to go and get an Ethereum wallet. The Ethereum wallet that I use over here is called MetaMask, which is actually a wallet that you can just plug in onto your browser over here. So I just added this to my Chrome browser now. I used to use with NFTs, um, a, a wallet called luno.com over here, which is a, a wallet where you can go buy Ethereum, Bitcoin, and all sorts of other cryptocurrencies. But I recently found out about this one over here called MetaMask, which is much easier. It's accessible straight through your browser via an extension. You can click on the drop down over here and you can add, send, or swap or withdraw Ethereum from this wallet. In order to add Ethereum to a wallet, you just need to click on buy over here. Just scroll down to directly deposit Ethereum. So if you have Ethereum in another wallet, you can automatically just send it to this wallet or you can use Transact, which is a debit card. So it accepts like Visa, MasterCard, all the cards really around the world. Or you can use, uh, or you can use the wire transfer option over here to put Ethereum directly into this wallet over here. Step number two is you want to come over to this website over here called OpenSea.io and you want to go and create an account. So over here you can discover, collect and sell your NFTs. So on the top right, just click on create account over here. I'll create an account for you just to show you the process. So you need to sign in directly to your MetaMask wallet in order to sell NFTs and collect your earnings via Ethereum. Um, so just click on sign in with your wallet over here. You'll see it will automatically connect up with your extension. Just click on next over here. Click on connect. By the way, this MetaMask extension, you need the Chrome browser. Just go to the Chrome store and search MetaMask and add it to your browser. Uh, click sign in over here. Click signing over here so we can sign in with our Ethereum wallet on OpenSea.io. Over here, you can see I just created a example NFT called Jay Fronim and my name with this icon over here. So once your account is created, this, this is not important right now. This is just to show you that um, we just need to create an account on this website. And we're not actually going to be creating an NFT on this website. We're going to do what you call minting, where we're going to actually piggyback NFTs that are about to launch within the next week that is going to get huge virality. And I'm going to show you how to analyze, see which ones are going to go viral, and then I'm going to show you how to actually piggyback that. So make sure to keep watching to see how to do that. And over here, you'll see on the assets page or the marketplace of OpenSea, you'll see a whole bunch of NFTs, NFTs over here. So yeah, you can see, for example, this vampire one actually over here looks quite cool. Um, we can actually click on their profile over here. Let's just open up their profile. And here you can see this is what a complete profile will look like. And here you can see all of the MS NFTs over here, which is basically just random pieces of art that have a Ethereum value, such as 3.5 Ethereum. Some of these are 0.8 and 0.08 Ethereum. So this little monkey over here right now 
is um, is worth $232 over here, which is a decent value just for a little piece of art like that. And here you can see they've got hundreds or close to a hundred different NFTs on their profile so far. And they all randomly are generated. Each one has a different worth and different factors determine the different NFT values. So what actually determines their value? Well, if I click on this one over here, which is the most valuable one at 5.5 Ethereum, which is $16,000 and I click on their properties over here. And it also depends on the rarity of the art. So take a look at their properties. It has light smoke, which 11% of NFTs only have this characteristic or trait. It's got an obsidian body, which 8% of NFTs only have this trait. A lucky number seven pin over here, which only 4% of NFTs have this trait and it's an extra. The eyes half open, which 5% of NFTs have this trait. A plague mask, which only 0.85% of NFTs have this trait. And a slick obsidian hair with 1% of ETs having this trait. So a big factor in the value of these NFTs are determined by its properties, what's rare, what's not so rare. So this is obviously a much more rare NFT to find, which is high demand. That's why people over here are offering $7,000, uh, $7,300, $6,100. So people are offering thousands of dollars for a simple little NFT piece of art like this. Now there's two ways that you can go about this. You can either go and directly buy these NFTs or and wait and hope that these values go up over the next couple of days or months and make investments back on your money and profits on your money. But what you really wanna do is you wanna go and pay back NFTs that are about to launch today that cost nothing, that are a couple of cents and identify and analyze the ones that are going to go viral, piggyback that, that they skyrocket in value over the next couple of hours or days so you can catch all of those profits on that NFT. You'll see some of the top NFTs over here are going for over 10,000 Ethereum, which is a couple of 10,000, well over a million dollars for these people of, uh, for these pieces of art. And believe it or not, people actually do buy this. So you can have a look here. Um, the NFTs, they've got what you call a floor price over here. If I click on this particular NFT. Now, what a floor price means is it's basically the ones that are going for the cheapest, 0.1. Um, these are the cheapest NFTs over here at 1.1, 1.12. And these floor price is um, can go up over time. But when these were created or just minted, these were not worth 1.1 Ethereum or the thousands of dollars they are today. They only were worth a couple of cents or a few like 0 0.0001 ethereum which is one or two dollars and now today they are worth thousands of dollars and that's because this is an nft that was launched minted and grew and went viral because of a couple of factors that i'm just about to show you so the process that we're now going to do in this video is we're going to do what you call minting where we're going to go and piggyback these nfts and this is what you need to do in order to get started and the kind of money that you can make on these nfts guys is absolutely crazy i mean these floor prices over here for 1.05 1.21 a 9.34 floor price is really, really good. Um, and to think some of these were just at a couple of cents days or weeks ago and now are worth thousands of dollars. And these NFTs, guys, you can only sell what somebody else is willing to pay for them. You can't liquidate them until someone has actually bought it from you. So it's really important that you try mint and piggyback rare NFTs that are going to go up in a lot of value where people are willing to pay a lot of money for it. And I'm going to show you exactly now how we're going to make money with these NFTs. And the next website that you want to come to, guys, is called rarity.tools. I'll zoom it up on the screen. And there's two things that I'm going to show you. I'm firstly going to show you or define what an NFT is so you can get a better understanding and then how to use this tool to identify rare and NFTs that are going to go viral in the next launch. So step number one is click on upcoming on the top left of the bar over here and this will show you all of the NFTs that are going to get launched on uh, the next couple of days, the next couple of minutes or hours. So yeah, you can see some that were just launched yesterday at 10 o'clock, 7 o'clock and these are today's launches over here. So 1 a.m., 5 a.m., and the ones we want to go and look for, if you scroll down a little bit, is tomorrow over here. 12 a.m. This is going to get launched 12 a.m. Uh, 12 a.m. You can see over here, 0 0.05 Ethereum at 3 a.m. tomorrow. And I mean, if some of these go up to a floor price of one 9.3, that is five to 15 times your money 
on these NFTs over here. Now remember, not all of these, not every single one of these over here are going to go up and go viral. That's why it's important to have a look at what I'm going to do to show you how to identify the ones that are going to go viral and really increase your chances of getting into the right NFT to skyrocket in value. So let me show you how to go and piggyback and mint these NFTs over here. So for example, if I go and click on this example over here called Pug Friends, that's nft.pug.cash. And I'll open this up this website in a new link over here and if you and click and if you click on mint you can go and mint this particular NFT so click on mint over here and if you click on connect wallets over here your metamask uh, just choose metamask it will again ask you with a pop-up to connect your metamask ethereum wallet just click on next over here and click on connect and you can choose how many you want to mint so let's say you want to mint one it's going to be 0.04 ethereum so that over here if you come in 0.04 is $116 to mint this particular pug NFT. If you want to mint, let's say 10 of them, that's going to cost you 0.4 Ethereum. And then you've got 10 NFTs, which is then 0.4, $1,100. But remember, if the NFT's floor price from, uh, let's just go over here, which is 0.04, goes up to 1 or 9.3, even 0.7 or 3.9, anywhere between, anywhere above 0.04 on the launch tomorrow, which is a good odd, which I'm going to show you how to identify which ones you should mint, you can make three, four times your money. So let's go and take an NFT over here at 0.04 and let's say we get four of them or five of them at 0.2 Ethereum, and it goes up to one Ethereum each on floor price. Now we've got five NFTs at one Ethereum each, so that's now one Ethereum. So we spend 0.2, which is $580 on five NFTs, and they go up to one Ethereum, and they go up to one Ethereum each, which is now five Ethereum, that's a thousand. That's $14,000 made on five NFTs. So if we go back to 0.2, 581 uh and that's 14,500 so let's go so let's go the 14 529 minus the 581 that's over 13,948 dollars made just on these five nfts that you've minted but this is not guaranteed this is just to show you a calculation of what can happen on the launch day now before you go and mint your nft and choose the one that you want to mint there's a couple of factors that we need to go and look at on this website so over here there's three things you want to go and do. You want to go and choose one from one of these um, tomorrow sales over here. First, choose one that you like. So for example, these little piggies over here, these ones of these pugs are quite cool, these ones of these cats. Scroll through and choose the ones that you really like, that you think is attractive to you. So I'm gonna use these pandas over here. They're actually quite cool, very simple. And the first thing you wanna do is, is go and open up their Twitter page over here. So over here, if we analyze their Twitter profile, there's one reason why I'm not going to choose these NFTs. They only have 352 followers. You only want to go and choose NFTs if their Twitter page has 1,500 or 2,000 followers or more, because you want to choose an NFT that already has quite a decent big following basis because the odds of them getting value on the launch day is a lot higher because there's a lot more people waiting for this launch and following the specific NFT. But 352 followers with like three comments, eight retweets, it's not something I would choose, not safe enough. So let's go and choose, for example, the Knights of Deegan over here. Let's open up their Twitter page to do the same analysis. And this is a much better example. Here you can see they've got 3,700 followers. Also, I wouldn't choose a page that has eight, nine, 10, 11,000 followers in such a short period of time because that could be bot followers or a little bit fishy. But then if they do have a lot of followers, go and take a look at how active their page is. Have a look at when they're posting, for example, 10 minutes ago, one hour ago, one hour ago, they're posting a lot. Take a look at their likes, retweets, comments, that kind of thing. So 93 likes uh, over here, 60 likes, six retweets. So there is quite a bit of activity on this page over here. It is pretty decent, but let's just go and look at one more to play it safe. Let's go and choose this Pug Friends collection over here. So again, open up their Twitter. They only have 600 followers, not going to use them. Let's go and use the Yakuz cats over here. Let's open up their page and see how many followers they have. They have two, like they have 28.2k followers, which is a lot, but I, I want you to take notes of this. They, they hardly have engagement. I mean, for one comment, four likes and no retweets, 20 likes, eight, uh, uh, 21 likes, 36 likes which tells me a lot of these followers are bot followers and not real. So that is also something you want to have a look at. Um, let's just use one more example of the dope wavy. So let's go and open up their Twitter page over here. Here you can see they have 1,600 followers. 
Also, hardly any engagement. Two likes, five likes, eight likes. That is not, that's a bit of a turn off. It tells me these followers are not engaging over here. Let's go try one more over here. The Outlaw Girls. Um, let's open up their Twitter page. They have a thousand five hundred followers. And you see, this is good. This is, a, this is what you're looking for. 138 likes, 96 retweets, 194 likes, uh, 69 likes, 20 likes. This is a good example because they got a lot of followers. A lot of people are following and they're engaging with their page, which shows me these are real followers, real people following this NFT, expecting a good launch, which can really increase its value. So that's step number one. Step number two is we're going to continue with Outlaw Girls because the Twitter page is good. Open up their Discord page over here and also open up their website. You'll see they've got a website link on their Twitter page. Open up their website and open up their Discord page over here. All you want to do is sign in with your Discord account, access their Discord chat, just take a look. Three things you want to take notes of on their Discord chat is if people are talking a lot, lots of good comments, no hate or anything like that. And if the admins are always online, uh, some of them might have a dead Discord group that's not working or when not people actually aren't interested. Just take overall notes and engagement if the admins are online, if the admins are talking, that kind of thing, and just have a look if it is active. Third thing is open up their website and take a look at if their website is looks pretty good, you know, if it's good quality. Um, if they've really put a lot of effort into this, that kind of thing, you don't want to go and choose an NFT with a bad website, with no Twitter following, or with no one really talking to them on Discord. All the, the whole point of this is just make sure that this NFT has popularity before it's launched. People are following it. They have a good website. They have a, a, a chat with a lot of people engaging in that kind of thing, which are three important factors before you go and mint an NFT. So that's Twitter page, followers, are they posts active, getting engagement, website, good quality, and their Discord chat getting good engagement, and are the admins active? So what I suggest is on the website, just go and click on the team over here, go and read up about the team, read about the owners or the admins of this NFT, and just have a look at what they have to say, which all just helps making you feel more comfortable with minting and buying this NFT before the launch, which can all increase its chances of going up to a huge floor price, making between three to 10 times your money. So you can see all the NFTs, every single one is different, quite nice quality. They give uh, basically a collection, a welcome to the Outlaws most um, motorcycle club, um, a roadmap, 10 OG drops, will airdrop 10 random Outlaw girls to 10 lucky wallet winners, project management, project management team, merch, motorcycle drops. So they're pretty going all out. They're creating merch, caps, mugs, t-shirts, hoodies. Um, they're having competitions. Uh, they're having giveaways. They have a whole community. So they are really going all out with the NFT, which all just makes me feel more comfortable with buying the NFT before it launches at such a low price. Because obviously none of us wants to buy an NFT and then it goes dead on the launch and we make a loss on our investment into our NFT. But these three main factors will literally have a 99% chance that they will go up in uh, value on their launch. So that's why it's super important to take a look at these things before buying these NFTs um, on rarity tools over here on their launch day. And another cool feature that this website has is, um, I'll just quickly show you. So if I come over to, for example, this uh, this NFT by Go Go Big Gold 2 over here. So if I choose, for example, this Big Gold 2 NFT over here on uh, OpenSea, and what I can do is I can go and copy this number over here. You wanna come back to rarity.tools over here and, let, and let's say you minted this one over here what you can go and do is you can go and copy the nft that you're going to mint so go copy over here come back to rarity tools over here and if you look on the left you can actually go and look up a nft id so just go and paste your nft id on click on look up over here you can actually go and see a rarity score over here of 2000 so you can go and see projected ethereum prices over time so you can see extra this might make 904 ethereum in time with its popularity because this is a rare NFT. On the hair, maybe an extra 800 Ethereum, extra 122 Ethereum on 9.45 Ethereum currently, a prediction of 49 Ethereum extra on the type. So these are all different factors you can see here that determine the value of this NFT. So this is a great tool to go and use, especially if you're going to go and mint rare NFTs um, just come over to uh, rarity.tools, search the project. So these guys are Owen Force One, which are the same guys over here. So just go and search Owen Force One on the top right. So for example, if you want to go do Absurd Abatorium, you can go look for them. Choose maybe one of their NFTs over here. So this one, for example, 
um, on the visual lens is expecting to grow at 653 Ethereum over time. So this is just a great tool to have a look at their rarity score, how much score in Ethereum they might make over time, um, which is a great tool to use to get an indicator of how much profits you could make. This was just a quick video on how you can make money with NFTs, very different to the usual type of video that I make. But what I'll do is I'll leave a playlist over here to help you out with more make money online videos um, and that kind of stuff is that's all what my channel is about. So this will be my specific drop servicing playlist over here where you can go and sell rare high income skills and services all over the world um, and create your landing pages, get paid through checkout, set up your own websites, free hosting, you name it all. This playlist will teach you all of that. So make sure to go and click on this playlist over here to really help you out with some more make money online skills. And I'll see you over there.